Welcome back to the Line Graph series. In the last video, we explored the theory behind the reflection architecture for self-improving AI agents. Today, we are putting that knowledge into action by building a comic book writer AI agent that can generate creative storylines and refine them through self-improvement. So get ready to witness the power of Line Graph and learn how to build an AI agent that can truly evaluate your creative process. In part one, we laid the foundation by understanding the reflection architecture. Now it's time to put that knowledge into practice and build our very own comic book writer AI agent. In this tutorial, we will follow the following steps. The first step is defining the agent state. We will outline the structure that will hold all the information our agent needs, such as task, a plan, generated content, and the critique. The second step is crafting the prompts. We will de carefully design our prompts to guide the large language model in generating content, conducting research, writing comic book scripts, and providing constructive critique. The third step is implementing the agents. We will bring our agents to life by creating functions that will encapsulate the logic for each step, such as generating outline, conducting research, writing scripts and reflecting on the outputs. The first step is constructing the graph. We will use the line graph to connect our agents by creating a structured workflow that guides the entire process from the initial concepts to the refined comic book script. And the final step is running the agentic app. Finally, we will witness our comic book writer AI agent in action, generating creative outlines and refine them through self-improvement and critique. So get ready for the practical implementation and see how LineCraft empowers you to build AI agents that can evaluate your creative process. Let's start by defining the structure that will hold all the information our AI agent needs to create and refine the comic book script. This structure will act as the agent memory, allowing it to access and update information throughout the creative process. Let's break down the essential import and setup for our AI writing agent. First, we are importing various message types from Langchain core messages that we will use for communication between components. These include Simpson message for giving instructions, human message for user inputs, and AI message for AI responses. From LangGraph, we are importing static graph and end. These are crucial for building our agent workflow structure. Static graph will help us create a directed graph of our agent's action, while end help us define when the process should terminate. We are also bringing in chat OpenAI from Langchain OpenAI, which will be our interface to GPT-4 or Mini. Notice how we are setting temperature to zero to ensure consistent deterministic output. Now here is the heart of our agent's memory structure, the agent static class. Using TypeDict, we define a structured dictionary that will store the task, which is the writing prompt or objective, the plan, which is our agent's outline or strategy, the draft, which is the actual written content, the critique, which is the feedback on the current draft, content, which is a list containing research and reference material, revision number to track iteration, and max revisions to set a limit on refinement cycles. This state structure acts like our agent's working memory, allowing it to maintain context and progress through the writing process systematically. Think of it as a professional writer's workspace where everything from initial ideas to final drafts is organized and accessible. Now let's craft the prompts that will guide the large language model. These prompts are crucial for generating the desired response from the large language model and ensuring it generates engaging content. 
Now let's define the specialized prompts that will guide our AI's behavior at each stage of the comic book creation process. Think of these as detailed job descriptions for different roles in our creative team. First, we have our planned prompt. This turns our AI into an experienced comic book writer who can outline a story. It is structured to ensure we get comprehensive planning that cover all essential elements from character development to plot twists. Next, we have the research plan prompt, which transforms our AI into a research assistant. Its job is to generate focused search queries based on our outline, helping us gather inspiration and background information. We limit it to three queries to keep our research targeted and efficient. Then we have the writer prompt which is where the magic happens. This turns our AI into a creative comic book writer who can take our outline, research, and feedback to craft engaging scripts. Notice how we include a content placeholder. This will be filled with all our research finding and previous work. For quality control, we have the reflection prompt. This casts our AI as an experienced comic book editor who can provide constructive criticism across multiple dimensions, from plot coherence to character development. Then we have the research critique prompt, which comes into play during revisions. It helps our AI generate targeted research queries specifically aimed at addressing any weaknesses identified in the critique phase. To handle our research functionality, we are creating a queries class using Bidentic based model. This ensures our research queries are properly structured and validated. And finally, we are setting our connection to Tavili API, which will handle our actual research query. This integration allows our AI to gather real-world information to enrich our comic book creation process. These prompts work together like a well-oiled machine, each handling a specific aspect of the creative process, while maintaining consistency in our comic book development. With the state and the prompts ready, let's implement the agents that will drive the comic book writer. Each agent will be specialized in specific tasks, contributing to the overall workflow. Now we are getting to the exciting part, implementing our specialized agents. Each agent is a function that handles a specific part of our comic book creation process. Let's start with the plan node. This agent takes our initial task, and using the plan prompt we defined earlier, generate a structure outline for our comic book. It's like having a seasoned writer brainstorm the initial concept and structure. Next, we have the research plan node. This clever agent does two things. First, it generates focused research queries based on our task. Then, it uses the Tavili Search API to gather relevant information. Think of it as having a research assistant who knows exactly what information we need and where to find it. Then we have the generation node, which is where our story comes to life. It takes all our research content, combines it with the original task and plan, and generates the actual comic book script. Notice how it also keeps track of revisions. This is crucial for our iterative improvement process. And for quality assurance, we have the reflection node. This agent acts as our editor, analyzing the draft and providing detailed critique. It uses our reflection prompt to ensure comprehensive feedback on all aspects of the script. Finally, the research critique node comes into play when we need to improve our scripts. It takes the critique generate relevant research queries and gathers additional information specifically targeted at addressing the feedback. This creates a powerful feedback loop for continuous improvement. Each of these agents communicates through our state structure, passing information seamlessly from one stage to the next. They work together like a well-coordinated creative team each handling their specialized task, while contributing to the larger goal of creating an engaging comic book script. The beauty of the system is its modularity. Each agent has a clear, specific role, making the code both maintainable and extensible. We can easily modify or enhance any part of the process without affecting the others. Now that we have our agents, let's connect them using LineGraph to create a structured workflow. 
This graph will orchestrate the entire process of generating, reflecting, and refining our comic book script. Let's bring everything together by constructing our line graph. The blueprint that orchestrates how our agents work together. Let me walk you through this fascinating workflow. First, we define a crucial function called should continue. This acts like a traffic controller, deciding whether to continue refining our comic book script or conclude the process based on our revision limit. We then create our state graph using the agent state structure we defined earlier. Think of this as laying the foundation for our creative pipeline. We add each of our specialized agents as nodes in this graph. The planner node for initial concepts. The research plan node for gathering inspiration. The generate node for script writing. The reflect node for critique. And finally, the research critique node for targeting improvement research. Now let's configure our agents, connect and flow together in the graph. First, we set the planner as our entry point. This tells our system where to begin the creative process. Next, we set up our conditional edges. This is particularly interesting. We are telling the system that after generation, it should check our should continue function to decide whether to move to reflection or end the process. It's like having a quality control checkpoint that either approve or the script for publication or send it back for refinement. Then we establish our regular edges. These are the fixed pathway between our agents. From planner to research plan, our outline flows into research. From research plan to generate, research informs our writing. From reflect to research critique, feedback guides additional research. And from research critique back to generate, a new research informs our revision. Finally, we set up our checkpoint using memory saver. This acts like a save point in a video game, ensuring we can track progress and maintain state throughout the entire process. And finally, when we compile the graph and visualize it, we can see this elegant workflow. Let's run the code cell now, and we get the result. We can see a complete system that mimics the nature flow of creative writing, from conception through multiple rounds of refinement to final completion. Notice the dotted line from generate to end. This is our conditional edge. When we have reached our maximum revisions, the process concludes. Otherwise, we continue through the reflection and improvement cycle. And of course, we are using the memory saver for checkpoints, which help us maintain state throughout the process. This ensures no work is lost and allows us to track the evolution of our script. The beauty of this structure is its iterative nature. It mirrors how real comic book writers work, constantly refining and improving their scripts based on feedback and research. Each cycle through the loop potentially makes our script better, more engaging and more polished. The moment of truth has arrived. Let's run our comic book writer AI agent and see how it generates and refines comic book script based on the reflection architecture. Now comes the exciting part, running our AI comic book writer. Let's see how all our components work together to create an engaging story. Let's run the code cell now. When we run the graph, it follows our defined workflow. The planner node creates a detailed outline for our story. The research plan node gathers relevant information about Cyberpunk and Samurai themes. The generate node crafts our initial script. The reflect node provides editorial feedback. The research critique node finds additional information to address the feedback. And finally, generate creates an improved version. Let's now print the generate draft. Looking at the final output, we can see how each iteration improves the script. The story evolved from a basic concept to a rich narrative with well-developed character, engaging dialogue, and vivid scene description. Notice how it maintains the perfect balance between traditional samurai elements and futuristic cyberpunk themes. What's particularly impressive is how our agent incorporated feedback from each revision cycle, refining aspects like character development, pacing and dialogue while maintaining the core story integrity. 
This demonstrates the power of Learncraft Reflection Architecture. It is not just generating content, but actively learning and improving through self-reflection and iteration. I have been getting a lot of messages on LinkedIn and Twitter on the best way to start a career in AI. While there are many online platforms out there, I personally recommend DataCamp. And here's why. What I love about DataCamp is their structured learning path, especially their AI engineering track. They don't just throw random courses at you. They have specific learning journey for developers trying to break into AI. Whether you are looking to build an AI applications or work with large language model like we did in this tutorial, they have got you covered. And the best part is you learn by doing. Their interactive platform allow you to write code and work in real projects, similar to what we have been doing in this tutorial. Plus, they keep their content up to date with the latest AI development, and this is crucial in a fast-moving field. If you are interested, I will leave a link to their track in the description of this tutorial. And yes, it's an affiliate link. If you decide to subscribe, you help support this channel at no extra cost to you. Now back to wrap up our comic book writer agent. And there you have it. We have successfully built a comic book writer AI agent using Landgraf Reflexion Architecture. This agent can generate content, conduct research for inspiration, write engaging script, and providing critique for self-improvement. Remember, the power of Landgraf lies in its ability for connecting different AI agents, creating a structured workflow that can automate a complex task. In this case, we automate the process of generating and reflecting a comic book script, but the possibilities are endless. I encourage you to experiment further with this project. Try to change the prompt, integrate a different tool, or even change the structure of Langraph to achieve new creative goals. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more AI content and share your thought and creation in the comments below. Don't forget the Jupyter Notebook for this project is available in the description for download. Thanks for watching and happy coding!